Investigators in Chester County announced Thursday that Danlo Cavalcante, a convicted ER, had escaped custody early that morning. Cavalcante, 34, is considered extremely dangerous and urges anyone who sees him to call 911 immediately. According to District Attorney Deborah Ryan, Cavalcante, an undocumented immigrant from Brazil, was convicted in early August of ing his ex girlfriend Deborah Brandau outside her home in Schoolcall Township. Authorities gave little information about Cavalcante's escape, but said the matter was under investigation. Meanwhile, according to court documents, Chester County detectives and the U.S. Police Department are searching for Cavalcante, who most recently lived in Royersford. Who is Danlo Cavalcante? Investigators said Cavalcante is a Brazilian citizen and illegally immigrated to the United States. In 2017 after an arrest warrant was issued for his arrest in his home country for According the evidence presented at his trial earlier this month, he went first Puerto Rico and then the United States get a fake ID. He later told the police that he moved to Chester County because he had friends who come here. Before him, prosecutors said Cavalcante worked for a time in construction and other jobs and rented a trailer. He parked in East Pikeland Township. What are the circumstances surrounding his escape? Howard Holland, acting warden of Chester County Penitentiary, said Cavalcante would not answer questions about how he escaped, as the matter is under investigation. At a press conference Thursday afternoon, investigators said Cavalcante's absence was noticed just before 9 a.m. and was last seen at 9.30 a.m walking south from Pocopson Township on Wawaset Road, where the prison is located. Holland said that as soon as they saw Cavalcante's disappearance, the prison administration locked the facility and notified law enforcement. Who is looking for Cavalcante? According to Ryan, the detectives at the Chester County District Attorney's Office are assisted by Pennsylvania State police soldiers and U.S. police officers. They announced late Thursday that they would be offering a joint 10,000 reward for information. Leading to his capture, Cavalcante is 1.80 meters tall and weighs 120 kilograms. Has black curly hair and brown eyes. Ryan said he was last seen wearing a white t-shirt, gray shorts, and white sneakers. What happened between Deborah Brandau and Cavalcante? According to court records, 33-year-old Deborah Brandau met Cavalcante through mutual friends. She and her two children moved in with Cavalcante after they started dating and their relationship lasted for about two years. She, during this time, prosecutors said Cavalcante had engaged in violence and harassment. After an argument at their home in June 2020, Cavalcante bit Brandau hard enough to shed blood and kicked him and his children from their home. Investigators said a simple assault warrant had been issued for Cavalcante's arrest and that Cavalcante had promised